Alrighty, hello YouTube, Debbie2100 here, back with another video for you guys. And today I wanted to talk about how to choose the proper like e-rig or even dab rig in general for your uh, for yourself when you're going into the glass shop or dispensary or looking online. And you know, there's there's always always so many options out there, and a lot of times you're gonna end up you know running into people who uh, especially if you're in dispensaries or glass shops, they're often just trying to make that sale because they want to get that commission. One of the things I really wanted to go over in this video um, is that, first of all, whenever I talk about the Dr. Dabber switch here, and I'm always constantly promoting this uh, over like all the other options that you're going to see under tonight's uh, pictures here, which this right here we got off to the side of us is the uh, the Puffco's uh, initial actual um like releases and stuff like that. There's some Puffco, Puffco Peaks, and Pros up there. Um, that's one of the, uh, the images you're seeing right up here. Um, and then on top of that, I also did pull up some other images, uh, one being like the Carta, and then one being the Candy Pens Aura. And the reason why I wanted to pull these guys up, um, and again, you can pause the video to kind of get a good glimpse uh, at what we're looking at here. Uh, these are the other big name uh, E-Rigs on the market. And one of the biggest things that I uh, I noticed with a lot of these e-rigs is the atomizer is always off to the side. Uh, there's not always a direct from quartz, you know, to glass type of pathway. Unless you're maybe looking at the uh, Dr. Dabber Boost Evo. Um, and again, it's one of those things where, like, depending on your type of like hits you like, uh, depending on the type of usability um, that you want with your uh, your dab rig. Um, and the other big one that really, in my opinion, at the end of the day, ends up being the biggest, do you buy this one, this one, this one, or, you know, Dr. Dabber, is, do you want to do atomizers or induction cup? And that's the other big one is, do you want more, like, traditional style of dab rig or e-rig, or do you want something that's induction style, which tries to give you a more evenly heated uh, surface area than all the rest? Uh, now, mind you, too. One of the biggest things uh, that I definitely get from a lot of people, especially that are, uh, you know, themselves Puffco users, they're like, well, dude, I, I have no issues with, you know, the atomizers, you know, I'll buy them, whatever the case is, or the biggest thing is, is like, maybe they know how to rewire them, fix them, so forth, so on. However, the thing is, is that they're always, you know, at me with about the fact that, like, oh, well, no, man, the atomizer works just great. And, you know, you just, just, you just can't do that. You, you can't do that. You, you can't th look at the end of the day. One of the biggest issues I have is if like if I want to throw a one gram dab in, I want to be able to throw a one gram dab in. Now, one of the other things I will say about like a, a huge chunk of it is that you do have this type of like I, I would feel like almost uh, this mentality that comes with most of like the Carta, the, uh, the Puffco. And the candy pens were, and it's a lot of that hype. Um, a lot of it's like, you know, oh, this rig can do this, but your phone, it can connect to this. Oh, did we tell you that you could just with the swipe of your finger, you could do this, and all these other things. And when you're looking at trying to find the right e rig, if by chance the compatibility it has with your cell phone is a big factor, whether or not you pull the, you know, pull the trigger on the, buying that purchase, at the end of the day, that is something I have to say is something that I do feel is a more of a wasted look for. Uh, you, like you're looking for something that's just going to be draining the battery more. And on top of that, what happens if you don't have your phone? Like, uh, how easy is it to set all these settings without the device? See what I mean? Where, at the same time, that is a very, I feel like in some people's eyes, a very minor issue and they can handle that still. I my biggest thing is out of the box how well do they perform are they able to as soon as you were to open up out of the box take out the candy pen uh, the, the, uh, the Carta the Puffco how are they gonna perform day one use out of those atomizers now I can tell you right now having the, uh, the Dr. Dabber now for as long as we've had it and every time I've used it it just constantly feels like the first time I've used it so the fact that it can replicate that, no issue. It uses induction heating. It heats up everything. So there's no like comparison. 
and that's the other thing too is when I when I've been doing these uh, videos and, I, and I'll talk about the Puffco and stuff like that. One of the biggest reasons for it is because it's one of the biggest competitors in a sense of hype um, and the fact that it is an E rig. However, they are not doing anything remotely close to what Dr. Dabber switches doing here. You know, with Dr. Dabber and in the Switch, this is the same model, okay, that has been being made since 2013. And if that doesn't speak volumes to the actual quality of this type of product, then I, I don't know what else could. Um, one of the other biggest things I gotta say about the fact that yes, we are using a first edition model, whereas a lot of these other companies are either refreshing them, uh, they've added this or that, you know, this or that to the you know the actual internal parts uh, or software. And when you buy a Dr. Dabber switch, pull out the foam out of the box, pull out your switch, all the stuff out, right? You load up a dab, you fill up with water and you're percolating. You slap that bad boy on, you take your first dab out of it. Well, depending on how high you set it, that's not amazing that dab's gonna end up being. Now, one of my biggest issues I've seen with a lot of people out there that um, review this switch in terms of like, oh, we're gonna do this, you know, crazy big dab and all this other stuff, da 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 da. And they always start off super, super low and get all those terpenes, which is fine. But like, after. Like, you know, it, at, there's a certain amount of, you know, hits, especially even roasting it on the, uh, on the Dr. Dever Switcher, you're just gonna, you're gonna get to a point where you're hitting it so high on there that you're not getting hits that are tasty and stuff like that. And I see a lot of people tend to just, like, they're like, alright, we're gonna slam this dab on, the, like, the highest heat setting, and they're like, oh, oh, that seems a little harsh, and it's like, 780 degrees is gonna be a little harsh. Uh, so I do always recommend like sticking around between the, like the 400 to 500 range uh, If you're really looking for a really solid vapor production with terpenes and on top of that You definitely want to be able to get the most bang for your buck I can get anywhere between two to three hits off the ceramic cups off the sapphire cups I can get anywhere between we're saying Five maybe even sometimes seven hits off of one of those sapphire cups and that in itself is impressive now at the end of the day when it comes to choosing the one, it's always going to be a user preference. But some of the things that I wanted to talk about, and then again, you know, I'm sitting here just constantly promoting, uh, promoting a Dr. Dever switch over here. Uh, but the one cons, I guess, I can say about that is that it's not a smart device in the sense of you're not going to connect this to your phone uh, and download a third-party app or a, uh, a first-party app that allows you to take control of this device. Um, instead, you're going to just be utilizing the those three buttons that are right here. You know, you got your up and down buttons right here. Okay, you got your go button, which you can also lock it in time. Uh, lock the uh, heat setting you have in faster than just waiting for it to go over. Uh, then you got your bottom switch, which literally it's on oil. I'm just turn it off. And now we put it in flower mode. Turn it off. And now it's back in oil. So it's as simple as that. Uh, there really isn't a need for a screen and on top of that they are very kind to at the very bottom of your device if you give it a half turn you get these three beautiful cards right here and the reason why I said that here are beautiful cards is because I can guarantee you that these bad boys have saved somebody's ass a time or two because they're like oh man I completely forgot how my device works and I'm either way too stoned or I just completely forgot how to change this this or this or what is this this does this mean well you have three cards They'll easily be able to allow you to have uh, a good bit of access to what you need for knowledge on your device at all times. And again, all you gotta do is have turn, pop off your base. And those cards will be on there, that's hence why they are designed and cut the way they are. And then you just whoop, pop it back on. I like to make sure that it's got that nice lock so that it doesn't try to wiggle off too much. Especially because when I set it down, I like to make sure it's nice and nice and tight. Tight like a tight. But uh, one of the, the other cons I'd say about the, the Dr. Dever Switch that you will find the pros on the others is that the, the device's actual size. Most of those other devices like the Puffco here, the Carta, and along with the Candy Pins Aura will all be smaller, have their own carrying cases, and are much easier to transport for a lot of people. I myself use either my Razor backpack or an actual big old hiking backpack. Um, so I almost always will have room for both my actual device, Xbox, and even a laptop, all in that same backpack. It's gonna be a little heavy, 
but I could fit every single item in there comfortably without it actually like feeling it's gonna be broken, smashed, or anything like that along the way. So I will say it, it is always at the end of the day when somebody says, well, this isn't portable, but then somebody else is like, well, I find it to be portable. It is a matter of what are you using day to day? How like you know how far are you going? You know too as well. Like, are you uh, just driving around in your car most of the time and you not really have to worry about it as much? Are you somebody like myself who's you know constantly uh, using your backpack and you're walking around everywhere? You will want to have a moment where maybe you're like you know what I just don't want to have shit in my backpack. You know there's those days, but there's also those days where you're like you know what I could use a fucking bowl. So you know it's a it's a totally understandable. Or like oh you know what I'm on this about my I'm in the I'm in the nature walks over at the Arboretum. That's one of my favorite places. I was trying to think of it in my head what would be a good example. And it's like, you know what? I'm sitting here. I'm sequestered from everybody right now. Uh, I'm up in the trees, listening to the nature, looking at all the beautiful trees and flowers and everything like that that they brought from all around the world. And I'm like, you know what? This would be a perfect moment for a dam. So then I do look. I take out the Dr. Jeffrey switch. You know, you just load her up. You pop your car cap in. You hit your button. You wait in five seconds. Boom, you start taking your hit. You're done. Do your thing. You're done. You're done. <laughs> you are done. You know what I mean? Like, there is, there's no sitting there like, oh, hold on, let me heat this banger up. I hope nobody hears or sees me heat this up. And especially out in nature, we're using fire. We've had so many wildfires here in the states. You know, it's just, it, for me, the safety of that alone is a huge thing when it comes to all the, the e rigs and that. Regard, they all have that mass, massive pro. Uh, the, the pro of just being able to be non. Uh, heated by torch. That is probably its biggest benefits. Um, the other thing I would like to also go over to real quick, when it comes to choosing your rig, uh, if you can get the chance to hit all the devices the best you can, um, or even dry hitting them, pulling on them and stuff like that if you're allowed to at a, a, any dispensers that are around you, because one of the biggest things I gotta say is that, like, I love the lamp style glasses, however, most of those do not heat up quick enough. Even the uh, even the puffco takes too long to heat up. I absolutely love the way this guy is very chuggy, uh, also somewhat restrictive, but not at the same time. Now, if I want something that's even more tight and restrictive, I'm gonna go over to the Hive over here uh, and use this one because it's a much much more restrictive hit, uh, but it is still very smooth at the same at the same exact time. And again, at the end of the day, phenomenal phenomenal work on all this manufactured glass right here. Honestly. It blows my mind. I've heard other people tell me that it's also supposed to be hand blown. Um, either way, they do a great job, and those pieces work phenomenally. Now, when it comes to like, let's say um, the, the Carta, it's got a very unique and very random. Um, in fact, I should pull up that image again real quick here, uh, so you guys can kind of get a look at what I'm talking about here. Um, it, it's uh, it's kind of got like a bottle shape, is what it reminds me of, like a really fat, like almost like a 40, is what you're doing, is what you feel like you're hitting out of that, like a 40. But it's a mini 40. So it's like a 20 ounce. So it's not worth it. You know, but then we got the uh, the candy pants board. You got that weird shape. That weird shape that it gives. And while I have seen this thing deliver some really phenomenal looking hits, same with the uh, the Carta and same with the Puffco, it is still the matter of user preference. Now, again, I wanted to do this video because I do see a lot of people out there going, yo, man. This is the only one you should be buying. You should be spending your money on. Look, at the end of the day, like I've told you guys live or even on my streams, if you have the ability to test out a Dr. Driver Switch, by all means, please do so. If you have the means to try out any of the devices I have listed off tonight, please go and try them out first before committing that dollar to them. Because at the end of the day, you might find the one you love, you might find out you hate e rigs completely, which is completely fine. I have nothing against anybody. We were like, you know what, I just, at the end of the day, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I just don't. <laughs> so, it's, uh, one of those things, too, with, like, you know, with the, the, the dad rigs, it's like, I don't want to sit there and keep pushing to people, like, hey, you know, like, I, I'm not gonna be like, you know, this is the only rig that you can use. When there's all these other rigs out there that might suit your needs much better than the one I'm using. Now, the reason why I promote the Dr. Driver Switch so much, um, on the daily, why I'm constantly talking about it all the time, guys, and why I bring it up the gym not just in every video, but I bring it up to everybody that I even talk to when I'm at the vape shop, uh, when I'm working. And it's because it's the quality of this product 
And on top of that, I know at the end of the day that this thing is going to last me far longer than a lot of the other pieces that I've already bought. Now that's the other big thing right there is that I didn't want to already shell out more money to for something that I had already kind of since burnt myself on. I've had the, the knockoff Tufkos, um, I've had the knockoff Candy Pins and, and the, uh, the knockoff Cardos, and obviously, you know, I've tried the, the legit ones, and while they were fun to use at that time, it wasn't something that I was like, oh my gosh, dude, that's a thing I gotta buy. Whereas the Dr. Dara Switch was only because of one big, massive reason, and it's the fact that I can heat this up within five seconds. I am impatient. When we're doing live streams, I'm in the middle of a dungeon, uh, I'm in the middle of a you know, battle royale match, whatever the case is, whatever the case is. Five seconds, and that's all I need to take a quick hit. Much better than 20, 30, even a minute. That's ridiculous. You know, a minute should only be when you're doing an actual banger. Instead, I've seen actual, like, devices, like the M code we've talked about here on the stream, at great lengths. You've had to heat that up for a whole minute, then heat it up again, just to get your damn. That's a um, complete mindfuck because you've, you know, you've went through how much of the turps already and all this other stuff. Even though you're trying to do a temperature control, it always made me wonder what was the actual temperature control set at. Uh, you know, actually like, showing and registering, you know, like, how different is that to it, um, and all those things. Like, whereas if I set this to, you know, 500 degrees, it's in with one uh, one percent of that accuracy. So it maybe be 499, maybe it's 501 actually. Either way, it's as close as it's going to be to that 500 degrees when I set it. It's not telling me 500 degrees, and in reality, it's almost closer to 300 or maybe even 700 degrees. So, those are some big differences right there alone. Um, the user friendliness of the, the bodies, in my opinion, a lot of the newer ones of these devices that I was talking about, the Puffco, the Carta, and the, um, uh, the Candy Pen, they all have something very, very different with the way you operate their button system. And I'm not a fan of that. I like to keep it simple. Again, that's where I think the Dr. Dabber comes in handy. Uh, now, again, if you guys want to come and hang out with me and sesh with me on Twitch, the link will be down in the description below. And if you guys want to help pick up a Dr. Dabber, and along with a lot of the other people who have already been picking up the Dr. Dabber Switch, Boost Evo, and the Estella, well, by all means, I have a link down below for you guys. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, as you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away
nothing I tell My mind overwhelms I think that I'm broken but I hope you can help I know I'm not perfect But some days I feel more and more worthless Baby you make me feel nervous If I still have you I have purpose It's all worth it to probably using the actual 3D printed cup that you can get for the Puffco. So, now I would like to point that out because of the fact that I've heard a lot of people tell me that that their Puffco, it was like, oh, it was good, it was, uh, was alright. Oh, this one tasted pretty good too. But then when they dropped the 3D printed one, which is about a $100 extra fucking attachment, a lot of people were like, dude, it changed my game on the Puffco. And I'm going to say this. Sapphire for me, the AIN, and the Sick Cups are definitely game changers for me when it comes to the uh, Dr. Dabber Switch. Now, I will say this I, uh, especially when I'm like well, recently, I want to do a really nice, fat, dense, thick, flavorful dab. I'll just stick with my ceramic cups and uh, hit around 500 degrees. Boom. I have a perfect, solid, fat rip every time. So, again, you can really dial in this stuff, and it's much more user friendly than uh, what I was uh, dealing with. Uh, when it comes to like a lot of these other rigs, like I said, the, the M code, one minute heat up time. You would almost be able to forgive this if in that one minute heat up time, it didn't look like it was trying to produce vapor in an extreme amount coming out of the carb cap, right? So then you plug that, you try to keep it going, then you start taking a rip after another 15 seconds into that second fucking run time, and you're just now getting a milky hit. From the time I start that hitting that button and everything like that, it's already starting to vaporize. By the time I start pulling, I'm already getting that milky hit because why? It's keeping up with it. It's not going, oh boy, oh boy, I don't know if I can make this marathon. And, oh shit. You know, it's literally like it's just, da, 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 da. it's just keeping up with you pace per pace. And that is the thing. That is what I love about this thing the most. And like I said, if you guys have the ability to check these out, set them head to head, please do because I. I don't doubt in my mind that you guys are all really going to enjoy the Dr. Diver Switch if you happen to pick one up or if you happen to try one out yourself. Again, to all those who have already been picking them up off of the, uh, the link that I have down below, thank you so much. You were the unsung heroes of this channel because honestly, you guys are helping us out because 10% of that is going to us because it is an affiliate link. So one of the best things about that is it helps us keep, you know, obviously electricity, internet, and obviously any gift cards, things like that we can do for giveaways. Those things all come from usually all of the types of money we can raise from either donations, bits, and, uh, uh, and subs, all via the Twitch, uh, usually a Twitch app. But considering that we were doing this affiliation, one of my biggest goals was to start trying to hopefully we get it making enough money that we could potentially give away one of the Dr. Diver switches ourselves. And I think that in itself would be one of the craziest but most fun stream mode that we would have and honestly let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys think about the whole situation what's your favorite e-rig why would you guys think would be a good uh e-rig too um and before i actually kind of wrap this up guys i would like to actually fully go over like 
how to best choose your E-Ring, definitely do research. So I want to leave this on real quick. Do your research. Make sure that you are finding the right device for your right needs. Because again, this guy can go all the way up to 780. The, uh, the candy pens, I do believe, uh, can go all the way up to 1,000 degrees. Uh, which, you don't really need to be hitting a dab around 1,000 degrees. But I do understand, hey, if you want a big old fat massive blob, you need the heat, all that type of stuff. Now, that's the big thing, though. Yeah, people are going to say, well, just because this goes from 300 to, you know, uh, to 780, that it's not going to be a, a high temp dab's favorite or anything like that. I, I guarantee you can get a really great high temp. I guarantee you you can get a really great low temp. I guarantee you you can get a really great medium temp dab. Whatever you're looking for, this guy can serve it up. You want to do flour? It can serve it up. You want to do hashish? It can serve it up. By the end of the night, you will be impressed with the Dr. Deborah Switch if you happen to pick one up. Now again, links are in the description below, and I will see you guys all in the next one.